For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's that John 3.16 that you see on the sign at ball games. I give them credit. I mean, they, they got John 3.16. But who's going to open their Bible and read it? That's the problem. For God so loved. I mean, it's past tense. There's the love of God. And you got to notice this L-O-V-E-D is past tense. Because John's going to go later and say, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. He that believeth not in the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. There is no love of God when you reject Jesus Christ. There is for sure no love of God when God casts you off into hell in a lake of fire that burns forever. Yeah, we can say God is love, but not to the soul that has rejected Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world, that's the unsaved. Jesus says, go in the world and preach the gospel. <clears throat> the long-suffering God that he's not willing that any should perish. That he would have all to be saved. God tells us Christians, go into that world that I loved, past tense, and preach the gospel. Don't bite them to church. Don't show them a movie. Don't let your light shine. Don't be your salt. Preach the gospel. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. <coughs> Now, if you're going to go out and show the love of God and not preach the gospel, you ain't got no love at all. You're deceitful. So that's not the message. So for God so loved the world that he gave. Now, look at that. We got, <coughs> forgive me, there's something in my throat. We got the love of God. There's God. God is love. That he gave. Now, what's gave? <clears throat> oh, I apologize. Gave is charity. Love and he gave. Love and charity. And it's charity that he's not going to put on his 1040. Which I believe is a sin. But that's not the message. I like to throw little bunny tails in there. The love of God. And I've had people come up to me in street ministry over the years of many things. You know, judge not least you be judged. You're too loud. And one of the things is you need more love. I start every street preaching with my mouth open from the day one that I began street preaching. I quote John 3.16. The fact is that I get up early I don't stay in bed with to go and tell people about Jesus. That is the love of God. That is the commandment of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and we got John 3, 16. We got the love of God and we got the charity of God. For God so loved. <coughs> yeah, I apologize. That he gave charity his only begotten son. What is the love of God? What is the charity of God? Jesus Christ. So when I preach, and you go back and listen to all my videos on my webpage, most of all the videos outside the camera not working, the camera breaking, and, all, and stuff that wasn't turned on, but all the messages I've ever preached is about Jesus. It's about death. It's about burial. It's about the resurrection. It's about death. It's about hell. Dying. Go back and listen to all my messages. 
And then somebody will have the nerve to come, well, you need more love. God loved the world. He gave and the object of God's love and the giving is the son to lost and dying people. There is the love and there's the charity of God. Now, another place, Romans 6, 23, and we did this the other day on the death certificate, I believe I called it. <clears throat> Now, I said Romans 6.23 is written to Christians. Even though we spiritually apply the verse to lost people, and we can. But the content is Christian. Like the context of Hebrews is to Hebrews. Uh, I wish you stopped doing that. Romans 6.23. Now, not, the wages of sin is death. We're not looking at that one today. But the gift of God's eternal life, read that back, John 3, 16, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, the Son. So the love of God is that he loved the world, past tense, at Calvary. And if you want to continue in the love of God, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Reject the Lord Jesus Christ. Reject the Lord Jesus Christ. Reject the Lord Jesus Christ. And die and go into hell, there's no love. And that the charity of God is giving without claiming on his IRS. And what he loved is the world and he gave his son. Now here's a gift. <clears throat> and I believe the IRS, you know, charity and gifts can be deducted and that comes right out of the Bible and how many people have claimed their charity and gifts to the church and don't even realize they're doing that they stole it from the Bible and that telling the government what you gave to the church and what you gave to Jesus I believe is a sin and you lost your rewards and glory But the gift of God, there's the gift. What is the gift of God? It's eternal life. Loved, gave, gift. And it's through the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, what more can you do? <clears throat> what more can you give? What more gift? But Jesus Christ. And there's a, I tithe, and look how much I give to the church, blah, 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 blah. God gave the greatest. God loved us, past tense, in our sins and in our wickedness, that he gave charity, our only hope, the blessed hope, his only begotten son. It is a gift of eternal life that is offered through the son, Jesus Christ. It ain't just Christmas. Anybody could get saved any time of the year. It ain't your birth from your mother's canal that you are born into sin. It is the new birth. Be ye must be born again. And when we look down today to the focus after I made many people angry, <clears throat> the love, the charity, and the gift. For God so loved the world that he gave charity and that the gift of God's eternal life. So let's read that all on. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Put your pen down. You have nothing worthy to claim any for offerings and tithing and giving because you can never outgive God when he gave eternal life to a lost, lost and dying world. And that giving and that charity and that love of God is he gave himself, he gave his son to suffer and die on Calvary's cross, which Jesus tells us to go into the world and preach. 
Put your 1040 form down. Put away that, that, that certificate that you get from your church on offering, tithing, and giving. Pick up the Bible and go to a lost and dying world and preach the gospel. That's the commandment of God. That's the love of God. And when people come up to me, you need more love. Ma'am, sir, you don't realize all the love I'm giving you because all the love I'm offering you right now is the love of God. And I will quote to them John 3, 16. And when Jesus said, go into the world and preach the gospel, you are preaching the love, you are preaching the charity, and you are preaching the gift of God. When you say, come to church, go to church, watch this movie, I let my light shine, there is no love, there is no charity, and there's no gift. I let my light shine. I thought it was supposed to be Jesus Christ's light. Because salvation is of God. That he loved us. And he continued his love when we become born again. By the faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone. That he has given us. He has charity. And that gift. Is we can spend all eternity. With the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> that dying thief never went to church and Jesus said today thou shalt be with me in paradise why? because God loved that dying thief and he was in his, his thief <laughs> thiefdom he was in his sin that's why he was on the cross that's why he was on his cross he was in sin and God loved him God could have said hey listen I'm dying over here just leave me alone will you shut up miserable sinner I'm up on this cross because of you no in the dying agony of God's love Jesus turned to and spoke to him and he says forgive me he says when you go into your kingdom and Jesus spoke to him out of charity Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. What's the paradise? That's the gift of God, eternal life. That, that thief is going to be eternally in glory. Because God gave his son and his son was dying there on the cross. You know that thief died after Jesus Christ died? When they came to the body, they broke the legs of the first, they broke the legs of the second, and they marveled that Jesus died already. You can't get saved without the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. After the death of Jesus, and before Jesus left hell, the dying thief died. And he didn't go to church, he didn't watch a movie, and he was saved. I know men in prison. I know one man in prison. He's never going to get out of prison. He got saved. He believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. And he's not ever going to be able to be baptized. Because the prison that he is in, as when we were, they would not allow anything for a baptism. And he can't go to church. He would have to come to a, a prison service, and, and this is all going back, I don't know, 2008, 2009, 2007. He would have to go to a cafeteria and sit on stainless steel hard seats in the cafeteria with a bunch of other convicts to hear the Bible preach and talk to him. He got saved by the, by the power, by the blood, by the gospel. Not by his church attendance, not by water, not by doing anything, but, but by all. He received the love of God. He received the charity of God. And he received the gift of God. 
That is the love, the charity, and the gift of God. I received it April 25th, 1987. God loved me before April 25th. God loved me before September 6th, 1968. You say, what is September 6th, 1968? That's the day I came into this world. And God loved me before that. He gave before I was born the Lord Jesus Christ. And he offered to me April 25th, 1987. Here's a gift. What's the gift? It's eternal life. What about it? It's through Jesus Christ because I loved you. I loved you. You want my love? Yes, Father, I want your love. You believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. He's the one. He's the way. There's no other way. I love you. Somebody else. God loved you. You're a sinner. Okay, yeah. He's offering you eternal life. Yeah, okay, sure. My charity is the Lord Jesus Christ, my son. I don't want it. I don't ever want it. I loved you. I don't love you now. I love you. I won't love you until you, you know, God is God. God loves all sinners. That's a bunch of crap out of hell. Why does it say loved? You get the love of God by the love of Jesus Christ, by you receiving and believing in the Lord Jesus Christ. God won't love you if you said a prayer. God will love you, put your faith and trust in the gospel. 